But when you swim on a reef, it all looks so tranquil and, and, and you see these beautiful, delicate corals. But in fact, there's warfare, rampant warfare, going on right before your eyes. So the battle that occurs between corals and seaweeds is often going to determine the kind of reef we're going to have in future. Parrotfish are one of the most important seaweed consumers on coral reefs. They're you know, really brilliant, they're very bold, beautifully coloured, and they spend 90% of the day eating. Protecting parrotfish has a beneficial effect on the survival of corals, especially when the corals are young. A fully protected marine reserve is an area that's designated for no fishing or extractive uses. And what we've learned is that the corals in those parks are doing better than the corals outside the parks. A healthy coral reef is an um, incredibly complicated structure. I often liken a reef to a Manhattan skyline because it has all of these hiding places that can actually support vast numbers of fish. And this is what underpins a healthy fishery. And if we don't take care of the processes that build these reefs, then these reefs are going to get flatter and flatter and flatter over time and you'll end up with a very brown, monotonous place to go and look. It's really in everyone's best interest to try and help corals recover and keep building this complex structural ecosystem.